thank you. What a terrific audience we've got here. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand, we happen to have an act. Like I said, he's back by popular <laughs> demand. Now, whose demand, I don't know. I think he owes us one. Let's greet him with a big round of applause, the world's foremost pickpocket, Ricky Dunn. Uh -huh. Thank you, Dale. Thank you very much. Thank you. What we're going to do is we're not going to waste too much time. We're going to bring a few people up out of the audience, and I'd like to try the young lady right over here. Yeah, they're with the shoes on. Just walk right up quickly. And let's give her a nice big hand. And how about the gentleman right here, if you don't mind? Terrific. Marvelous. Good. Love it. Love your outfit. You're buying your suit one piece at a time. That's lovely. And your name, young lady? Bev. 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 Good. And yours? Should I tell you right yes, now Yes, please, or if you will. I'm not a mind reader. John. John. Oh, God, I won't do any lines about it. And uh, <laughs> you're, you're our, uh, your uh, name again was? Bev. Good. Bev. Are you married? No. Fool around. I'm only joking. <laughs> but do you? I mean, <laughs> are you here with a boyfriend, husband, or uh, anyone else? Uh, boyfriend. Boyfriend. Which one? <laughs> That's him. <laughs> you do have a sense of humor. I want to tell you. <laughs> What I want you to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some playing cards to hold on to, young lady. You, a uh, young man, you hold on to those. Sorry, John. God, you're the guy that complimented me in a men's room, and I want you to hold on to those. I will have to gut that. I, I also need. Do you have a handkerchief I may borrow? No. You sh oh, you must. You don't you have one? No. Nothing at all. No. You sure? Positive. Absolutely. No handkerchief. How about the gentleman? Anybody? Do you have one, sir? Anybody? Anybody? You got one, sir? May I have the handkerchief? Man, thank you very much. Not today's edition, but thanks. Is it clean? That's the handkerchief. I sure hope that's a monogram. I, uh, I think it's being held together by the monogram, John. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have you hold on to the cards. What I'd like you to do is I want you to count out the cards one at a time in my hand, face down. And let's see if you have ten cards. Ready? You should have quickly a one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You son of a gun, you watch Sesame Street. And huh? <laughs> I want you to count out your cards. Let's see if you also have ten. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good girl. May I see the ring, dear? Isn't that something? Did you see that, John? I love it. It's got a place for a stone and everything. How about that? <laughs> oh, God. That's the boyfriend over there, last of the big time spenders. It could don't drop it till have seven years bad luck. Listen, we're, we're gonna take your ten cards, John. We're gonna wrap them up, and I want you to hold the cards in the left hand. A brain surgeon, huh? The left one, John. And hon, I want you to take your ten cards, and I want you to duck them out of sight somewhere where it'll be impossible for me to get my hands on them. Now my first trick. No, not there. That's the first place I look. <laughs> I want you to... I take those. No, just duck them out of sight. I give you two guesses where I want them. You can turn around. Just duck them under your chin, on the inside. Lots of luck. I Just, yeah, right in. Just all the way down on the inside. Just put them... That means put them on the inside. <laughs> All of a sudden, she's a professional nun. Just drop them right in. Just put them right down. Look at that. Look at that. Dear, what John said, he wants to shuffle them. Come on. It's a card trick. What are you fooling around? Here's what's going to happen. We're going to steal three cards from John. We're going to throw them there, and you will never see them go. You may feel them, but you'll never see them. We're going to try the first card. Hold them tight. Don't let them drop. We'll need a naval doctor to retrieve them. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to steal three cards. We'll try the first card. You ready? Do you see the first card? No. Right there. Take a good look, John. The first card. I don't see anything. You don't see anything? No. Shows you what happens when cousins marry. Watch. <laughs> the first card. You ready? Watch. Hell, you, you feel it go. <laughs> the hell has she been drinking? We didn't pass out anything. <laughs> We'll try the second card. Do you see that one? Take a good look, John. I'm watching. That one you see. I see it. That one you... We got a ding-a-ling up here with us. We'll try the second card. Do you feel that one? It's getting bigger. Say yes. Say yes. yes. 
tell you what, maybe you'll have a little better luck, John. You try the third and last card. Take the card and throw it right over. And there he goes, right over there and right over there. <laughs> what the heck could you miss from that distance? I try hard. Fool around with him. I don't know. Here, tell you what we'll do. You know, we'll take the card. We're going to bank it off the ceiling two shots. You ready? Watch it. And they said I wasn't clever. Watch this, John. We'll take out the card. You may let go, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? I take out the cards. Count them out loud. One at a time. What happened? Your pocket healed up, huh? <laughs> no, count them out loud. You should have. No, in my hand, sir. It's a set. I have two of them. You should have one, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, Seven yes. cards, and honey, dig all the cards that you have. <laughs> Get them all out. <laughs> Get them all out, and we're gonna have a scavenger hunt. <laughs> Which is a little bit, a little better than a weenie roast, I can tell you. Get them out. <laughs> Count them out loud in my hand. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's give her a nice big hand. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you. Bridget, mind if I use this again, sir? Good. <laughs> hey, it's Canada. I'm from Vegas. What do I know? Listen, I'm going to show you a very difficult trick now, if I may. I'd like to borrow a $1,000 bill. Anybody got a $1,000 bill that I can borrow? Quickly, now, do you have a dollar I can borrow? Just a John blink if you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now he has no answer. I need a dollar, John. Can I borrow a dollar from you, please? Whatever you have, my friend. I'll tell you what we're going to do. This is a marvelous trick that you're going to really like because you don't even have a dollar. Can't find my wallet. I got news for you. <laughs> I uh, didn't even have a dollar. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to show you a trick that you people could learn to do with ordinary objects. All you need is an envelope. What you do is you seal the envelope, cut off either end, Put a black line across it and borrow some long object, like a belt or a rope or a tie. As a matter of fact, John, if you don't mind, do you, could we borrow your tie for a moment? The, that's the thing you're wearing here. Sure. I remember when it was a beach umbrella. But anyway, guy couldn't guess your weight, huh? Listen, what we're going to do, see, that was a joke. Later, I'll tell you one that's not a joke and you can compare. I tell you. Watch this. I think I should have stolen it. I would have gotten it off better. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to place the tie down through the envelope, right? Now, my dear, what I want you to do is to take the pair of scissors, if you will. Have a little faith, John. Don't worry about a thing. You're going to cut along the black line. And ladies and gentlemen, though she cuts the envelope in half, the tie will not be harmed. Watch. Cut it right in half, right across. That's terrific. There she goes. A little good right across. Marvelous. And there it is. Now watch. Believe it or not, the tie is not harmed. We take... <laughs> she went off the line. <laughs> she went off the line, John. You can... The hell, what happens when you fool around with unskilled labor? Listen, I'll show you how to do it, my dear. What you do... Oh, dear. Got one that's sticking together a little bit, right? We're gonna place this right back through here. Shabba dooby doo. And I'm gonna show you, watch this now. See that? Now, you're not too worried, I hope, John. Don't worry. Don't worry about nothing. Now, you hold it, and I will show you how it's done. All you have to do, my dear, is cut it straight. If you cut it straight, nothing can happen. Now, we will take it. Now, watch this. We have. What the hell? went off the line. I'm telling you, I wouldn't have this problem if she didn't go off the line. So I got, yes. Well, it's not bad. I tell you what we can do. We could always make you a bow tie or something. I don't know. I tell you. <laughs> gonna show you how to restore it, my dear. You're not gonna believe it. Kept me out of show business for years. All you need is a fan. This is a fan. I'm gonna have you fan the pieces and it will restore. Just take the piece, fan, wave it right over, open it right up. What the hell are you doing to me? I'm trying to be a hit. I'm in Canada. I, I tell you what, don't worry about a thing, John. You're not worried at home. No, 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 I'm, I'm still smiling. Huh? You're still smiling, marvelous. You want, wait a minute, I just figured out what's wrong. You know what's wrong? 
the wrong material. Anybody got a wool tie I can borrow? I, I tell you what, John, you're a heck of a nice guy. We're going to do this and restore this for you the hard way. May I have, get this, nice and loud, this is a cue in showbiz. It's called a direct cue. A little cake baking music. Watch. I want to hear it. Good. That's pretty good. Watch it now, John. You're going to eat your heart out. You ready? You're not going to believe it. Watch this. We make a little layer here. You know, how good are you cooking? Julia Childs, eat your heart out. Watch this now. Here we go. Where you going, John? Don't be afraid. Come back. Here we go. I just, come here, John. Come here. Look, all I need, what, you see, you need a little full heat. You see that? Right on, you ready? Watch. Now, there's an easier way. Watch this. Now, here we go. Ready? Come on, here, Johnny. Watch this. Watch it. One, two, three. Good. We got it right here with the man's time. What am I going to tell you? What? It's your time. Good. What am I going to tell you? Thank you very much. The amazing and always amusing Ricky Dunn, ladies and gentlemen. Just terrific. Thank you, Ricky. And also, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank that brilliant manipulator, Zaccardi, for being here, all the way from Los Angeles. Thank you, Zaccardi. You, as usual, have been a fantastic audience. Thank you for dropping in. Good night, everybody.